Namaste, Leogis. I'm Kaiti. Welcome to your practice. Before I start the class, I like to talk about the props which we need for the class. A blanket, maybe, if you have one for something underneath your knees or you can sit on top of a blanket. So if you have a blanket, you can use one. Blocks, preferably two blocks. If you don't have a block, you can use books and a strap. Very limited time we'll be using this. So if you have, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. So other than that, we are set now. So let's start our class. Find a comfortable seated position. Okay, find a comfortable seat position you can use your like cross skin. leg, straight leg, one knee bent, any option is fine. Yes. Placing your hands where your shoulder and neck feels easy. Spine is effortlessly, elegantly tall. Eyes can fall closed. Okay. You want to do it? She's standing tall, mommy. Once you have established the shape. <laughs> gather yourself, center yourself, one breath at a time. Completely arriving to your mat. As much as possible, try to slow down your breath. Slowing down your breath. Slowing down your thoughts. And allowing a space to blossom between you and whatever is happening outside us. The space blossoming between you and the happenings outside us. Slowing down your breath. Allowing the breath to calm you down. Cool you down. Anchor you down. Getting the body and the mind ready for this beautiful practice.
Now open your eyes. Let the light in. Welcome to your practice. From a seated meditation, let's come into all fours, hands and knees. Place something underneath your knees as needed. Coming into all fours, shoulders and wrists in one line, hips and knees in one line. Carefully set up the foundation, tabletop. Wait for your breath here. A few rounds of cat and cow to start with. Inhale, shoulders back, looking up without cracking, cranking your neck. And then exhale, scoop your neck down, gaze in between your thighs. Relax your neck. Few more times like that. Inhale. Followed by an exhale. Again, just like in a seated meditation, slowing down your breath. Slowing down your movement. Extending your breath, extending your movement. Cat and cow is a wonderful opportunity to wake up the spine, spinal fluids. Bring some mobility in your hip joints, shoulder joints. And if you prefer the traditional cat and cow, stay there. Or if you think you want to go slightly out of the box by taking some circular movement in your hips, if that feels good, feel free to do that. Moving in a way that is appropriate for you. Moving in a pace that works for you. Enjoying this process of self-care. Connecting to the serenity of your breath. Cat and cow. Once you think your spine has warmed up enough, come back into a neutral spine. Shift back, settle back into child's pose for a few breaths, child's pose. Sitting bones resting on top of your heels. Head is resting on top of a block or to the mat. Soften your shoulders, neck, facial muscles. Enjoy your child's pose. And remember this shape is always there for you. You can come back to this shape anytime during the practice. Feel free to stay there for a few more breaths, but if you are ready, come back into all fours. Carefully look at your hands, spread the fingers, make sure the wrist creases are in one line and from there tuck your toes, lift your hips downward facing dog. Feeling the hands, feeling the feet, noticing the support. Some alternate knee bends. 
to gently wake up your legs, lower back. But if you feel like staying still, stay still. Again, it's your practice. Down dog is a symmetrical shape. Using this shape to find the balance between the right and the left, between the front body and the back body. Downward facing dog. Now allow the big toes to touch each other. Come into a still down dog. Right leg rises up, inhale. And then exhale, step it forward, come into a runner's lunge. You can even use blocks on either side of that right foot as needed. Crown of the head reaches forward, back heel is reaching back. Few breaths here. And then slowly start to walk your hands towards that left side. Spin your feet parallel to each other, coming into a wide leg forward fold. Both feet parallel to each other. Hands wherever your shoulder and neck feels easy. You can even rest your hands on top of a block. Even hands can stay on top of your thighs. Sometimes that feels good. Whatever way it takes. To make the shape easy on you. Easy, easy forward fold. Few breaths here. And then bring your heel in, toes out. Heel in, toes out. Drop your sitting bones down. Come up into a temple pose. Placing your hands on top of your thighs is a wonderful option. Feel free to stay right there. Dropping your sitting bones down, inner knees away from each other, inner thighs away from each other. Getting a little deeper into your inner hip socket. Feel free to stay there or if you think turning a little side to side, maybe getting a little more deeper into that socket. Don't forget to breathe, yogis. And then come up, strong legs. Now both feet parallel to each other. Start to clasp your fingers behind your back, probably right fingered on top of left. Take a nice inhale to brighten up your chest and then exhale, fold forward. Shoulders up and back. If you need a strap, you may use a strap here. One breath at a time. Getting into this forward fold. And then releasing the bind, start to walk your hands towards that front of the mat. Come into a runner's lunge one more time. And this time bring the back knee down to the mat. And then inhale as you reach your arms up, coming to a low lunge. Reaching your arms up, stretching your spine tall, floating your heart up. 
and then hands down come into a plank pose take your time set up the foundation in plank again shoulders on top of wrist wiggle your toes back so it's a nice long plank like you are standing on top of the mat Now take an in-breath here, exhale, knees down, feet off of the mat, chest forward, elbows in as you lower, lower all the way down to the mat. And then once you are right there, tops of the feet on the mat, adjust your palms closer to your chest, inhale as you lift your heart up for cobra. And then exhale, release. Few more times like that. Inhale. Lifting your heart up and then exhale, release. Keep pressing into the tops of the feet. Feeling a nice space in the side body as you inhale. Heart brightens. Exhale, release. Keep pressing down into the tops of the feet. Moving with your breath. Again, take slowing down the breath. And the next time when you exhale, shift back into downward facing dog. If you want a moment in child's pose, feel free to take it. Coming back to down dog. Every time you come back to down dog, it's like coming back to your home base. Feeling the hands, feeling the feet, noticing the support. Now it's left leg's turn. Allow the big toes to touch each other. Left leg rises up, inhale. And then exhale, step it forward, come into a lunge. Few breaths there. Crown of the head reaches forward, back heel is reaching back. Hands can rest on the mat on either side of the front foot or to the block. And then from there, slowly start to walk your hands towards the right side, spin your feet parallel to each other, coming into a wide leg forward fold on the other side. Few breaths there. Keep it simple, slow down your breath. That's all that matters. Both feet parallel to each other. Hands wherever your shoulder and neck feels easy. Plenty of breath to support you. Long inhale, deep exhale. And then from there, heel in, toes out, temple pose. Taking your hands on top of your thighs. One more time. Dropping your sitting bones down, inner knees, inner thighs away from each other. Hands on top of your thighs is a nice way to support yourself. Feel free to stay there or if you want a little more deeper, maybe going a little side to side. Deeper into the inner socket, inner thighs, 
inner groin. And then strong legs come up. Once again, both feet parallel to each other. This time clasping your fingers, left finger on top of right. If you want to use a strap, feel free to use one here. And then inhale here and then exhale, fold. If you do not have a strap, even a towel should work fine. I should have mentioned it in the start of the class. Few satisfying breaths here. Keeping the legs active. Breath by breath, more and more space liberating in your spine. And then slowly release. Now start to walk your hands towards that front of the mat, coming into a runner's lunge, and then slowly bring the back knee down to the mat. Then inhale as you reach your arms up, coming to a low lunge. Keep squeezing your outer ribs in, lifting up tall through the spine, relaxing the top of your shoulders. And then hands down, plank pose. Take your time, set up the plank. Feel the whole body strengthening in plank pose. And then knees down, feet off of the mat. Chest forward, elbows in as you lower, lower all the way down to the mat. Tops of the feet on the mat, adjust your palms closer to your chest. Inhale, lift up for cobra. Exhale, release. Few more times. Keep pushing into the tops of the feet. Be light in your hands. And simply synchronize the moment with your breath. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release and surrender. And then slowly release, shifting back, pressing back into downward facing dog. Again, if you want, if you want a moment in child's pose, go for it. Feel free to take it. Back into down dog, feeling the hands, feeling the feet, finding the balance. Now slowly start to walk your feet towards the top of the mat, coming into a forward fold on top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen you halfway. Exhale, deepens your fold. A few more times like that. Inhale, halfway, add forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. Generous bend in your knees. Inhale. Followed by an exhale. And the next time when you inhale, pressing into your feet, using your breath, using your hands, come all the way up. And then exhale, hands closer to your heart, coming into a standing position.
finding your feet, standing on top of your feet, spreading the toes, hands to a prayer, or even taking your hands by your side, palms facing each other, shoulders up and back, coming into a strong Tadasana, standing position. Root down, rise tall, few breaths there. Now let's start our Surya Namaskar flow sun salutation. A nice sequence which honors the breath and the moment which synchronizes the breath with the moment. So take the time to breathe well and take the time to move well. Mm -hmm. So come to the top of the mat if you are not there already, feet on the earth. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, soft bending your knees as you fold forward. And then inhale as we lift. Exhale, stepping the right leg back, right knee down. Inhale as you reach both hands up. Exhale, hands down, downward facing down. Take your time. Find your hands, find your feet. Feel the support. Now allow the big toes to touch each other. Inhale, ripple forward to a plank pose. And then a slow exhale to lower down to the mat. Knees down is a wonderful option. Once you arrive, inhale, come into a cobra pose. Tucks of the feet on the mat. And then exhale, shift back, press back into downward facing down. Now right leg rises up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, back knee down to the mat. Inhale, as you reach your arms up, come into a low lunge. And then exhale, hands down, back leg meets the front, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands closer to your heart. Continuing the same sequence on the other side, feet on the earth. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, bow forward, soft bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping that left leg back, left knee down. Inhale as you reach your arms up, low lunge. Exhale, hands down, down, down. Catch up with your breath, yogis. Now inhale to plank pose. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And then a slow exhale to lower down to the mat. With ease and grace. Tops of the feet on the mat. And next breath, inhale for a cobra. Heart brightens. And then exhale, shift back, press back into downward facing down. Take your time. Now left leg rises up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, back knee down to the mat. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down, back leg meets the front, standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your halfway. Exhale, deepens your fold. Press to stand. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands closer to your heart. Few breaths there. Eyes may fall closed. Ground down through your feet. 
Pay particular attention to your breath. Now from there, warrior two. Stepping that left leg back, warrior two. Facing towards the long edge of the mat, warrior two. Take the time, set up the foundation, turning the right toes out, front heel in line with the back arch, and then hands to the T, gazes towards the right fingertips, Tendencies to be too much front occupied in warrior two. Equally reach through the back leg, reach through the back hand, warrior two. Gazes towards the right fingertips. Spine is right in the middle. Dropping down in the front thigh, firming up the back thigh. And then straighten the front leg. Back foot, walk the back foot a little closer. Triangle, Trikkanasana. Reach, reach the right hand like you want to touch something far, far away from you. And then right hand, wherever it lands on the right leg, left hand reaches up, Trikkanasana, triangle. Few satisfying breaths in this shape. And then put a bend in the front knee, come back into warrior two. Play with the positioning of your feet, take your feet a little away from each other. And then this time you're leaning forward, reach, reach the right hand forward and then right forearm on top of the front thigh. Left hand vertically reaches up to the ceiling, side angle. Front knee on top of ankle, back leg is long and strong, shoulders away from your ears. And then take a deep breath here, exhale, both hands come down to the mat, pivot on your back toes, come into a rudder lunge. Now inhale here, and then exhale, turn your chest towards the right for a twist. You can use blocks underneath the left hand as needed. Sometimes right hand can rest on the lower back or reaching the right hand up. It's hard to breathe in a twist. Making an honest effort to connect with your breath. And then top hand down, allow the twist to leave the body. Now step that right leg up and back, three point down dog. Shake it off that right leg, you can bend that right knee, open up that right hip. However way you need to shake it up. And then back into a down dog. Now take an in breath here, exhale, stepping that right leg forward, back knee down to the mat. One more time, come into this low lunge. Here you can take your left hand, pat your back, right hand to the left elbow. Finding Gomukhasana hands. 
lifting that left armpit up tendencies for the head to fall down lifting the head and chin up few breaths here and then hands down now straighten that front leg for a hamstring stretch. You can use blocks on either side of the front foot as needed. Drawing that right hip crease back. Taking the support of your breath. And then put a bend in that front knee, come back into a plank pose. Take your time. A nice inhale, charge yourself. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And then a slow exhale to lower down to the mat. Knees down or straight legs. And then inhale, come into a cobra or upward facing dog this time for a back bend. And then exhale, shift back, press back into downward facing dog. Again, child's pose goes without saying, if you feel free to take it. If you want a moment in child's pose, this may be the time for it. Then slowly start to walk your feet towards the top of the mat. Coming into a forward fold on top of the mat. Inhale, lengthens you, aspen. Exhale, deepens your fold. Now bend both knees, come into a chair pose as you inhale. And then exhale, sit way back in chair. Trapping your sitting bones down, chest up. Feet down, chest up. Few breaths here. And then inhale, stand tall. Exhale, hands to a plate. Take the time. Eyes may fall closed. Feel there is a difference in sensation between both sides. And then release. Now it's the other leg's turn. So stepping that right leg back, facing towards your long edge of the mat, come into warrior two on the left side. Turn the left toes out. Kneel to arch alignment. Hands to the T. Sit down in the front thigh. Warrior two. A classic powerful shape. As much as you drop down, Get the feeling of lifting up. Spine is vertically tall, not leaning forward or leaning backward. Spine is vertically tall. And once you have established the shape, blossom there for a few more breaths. And then straighten the front leg, triangle, walk the back foot a little closer, and then reach, reach the left hand forward, and the left hand, wherever it lands on the left leg, you don't have to go any further down, and then right hand reaches up, Trikonasana, triangle.
such an expansive and expressive shape. And then put a bend in that front knee and come back into warrior two one more time. Play with the positioning of your feet, taking your feet a little wider. And then this time you can reach the left hand forward and then take the left forearm on top of the front thigh. Right hand reaches vertically up to the ceiling. Shoulders away from your ears, back of the neck is long, chin slightly towards your chest. Hip points up, chest up. Use your whole body, push down into the back leg. And then both hands come down to the mat, pivot on your back toes, come into a runner lunge. You can use blocks as needed on either side of that left foot. Now from there, take the left hand to the left hip. Inhale, look forward and then exhale, turn your chest towards the left. Reaching the left hand up if your shoulder and neck feels easy. The tendency for the back thigh to sag down, lift the back thigh up. Just keep squeezing that left hip in. Once again, shoulders away from your ears. Connect with your breath. Then hands down, come into Lift the left leg up and back, three point down, down. The left leg really worked hard for you, so take this opportunity to shake it up. You can bend the left knee, open up that left hip. And back into down, down. Now take an in-breath here, exhale, stepping the left leg forward, back knee down to the mat. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Come into a low lunge one more time. This time, right hand, tag your back, left hand to the right elbow. Lifting that right armpit up, head up, chin up. You should feel a nice stretch in that outer arm. And then slowly release, release. Hands down to the block, maybe. And then start to straighten the front leg as you fold over that front thigh. Hamstring stretch. Be very kind to yourself, yogis. Practicing patience over ambition. Drawing that left hip crease back. And then put a bend in that front knee. Come back into a plank pose. Now inhale and plank. And then exhale, straight legs or knees down, lower, lower, exhale, exhale, all the way down to the mat. Tops of the feet on the mat, adjust your palms closer to your chest, inhale, heart up for cobra or upward facing dog maybe this time. And then exhale, shift back, press back into downward facing dog. If you want a moment in child's pose, this may be the time for it. Mm 
and then start to walk your feet towards the top of the mat forward fold on top of the mat inhale lengthens you as way exhale deepens your fold now bend both knees come into a chair pose inhale exhale sit way back in chair if it bothers your lower back you can rest your hands on top of your thighs that is also a wonderful option sit down a little deeper put a smile in your face make the chair welcoming and then inhale stand tall exhale hands to a prayer so we completed both sides both right and the left see how that feels feel the balance the reason we come to our mat is to find this balance once we have the balance we can see things as they are and then release my mat is moving all over this carpet okay now let's come into one legged posture starting with the tree pose so left leg is a standing leg hands to the hip bring the right leg above or below the left knee not against the left knee above or below the left knee focus on a point which is not moving something on the floor that can help you with the balance and once you have the balance feel free to add on maybe hands to a prayer or you can even start to reach your arms up and then slowly release now let's do the other side this time right leg is a standing leg lifting the left leg up and place it anywhere anywhere on the right above or below the right knee joint focus on a point which is not moving when the gaze settles down the mind also calms down that can help you with the balance and once you have the balance you can bring the hands to the prayer or you can even reach your arms up ground down through the standing leg rebounding length all the way up through the spine three pulses rikshasana and then slowly release awesome so one more balancing before we go down to the mat this time it's some um, eagle garudasana eagle pose you can take the block outside to the right foot start with the chair pose hands to the hip you can wrap the left leg over the right if this is too much for your balance you can rest to that left foot on top of that block or if you have the balance you can go for a wrap single or double wrap depending upon your flexibility now once you drop your hips down so the left is on left leg is on top of right now right hand on top of left knee to arms again if this is too much for your shoulders you can hug your shoulders like this eagle garudasana the balance may be a little tricky in this shape because your vision is kind of bisected finding your balance in the middle of this chaos And then untangle your legs and hands. Release, release, release. Ooh. 
one more side. So take the block and place it outside to that left foot. Now this time, hands to the hip, chair pose, and then wrap the right leg over to the left. Drop your hips down. Single or double wrap, you can even use the block. And then from there, now take that left hand on top of right, this one. Eagle arms. A beautiful shape. Right half is overlapping the left, left is overlapping the right. To bring harmony from the inside. And then release, release, release. You can take the block away if you used one. Now both feet on the earth. Enjoy the stability. Eyes may fall closed. Conscious breath. Again, the meditation doesn't have to stop in the beginning of the class. It's throughout the class. A few rounds of asan salutation. So feet on the earth. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale. Bow forward. Soft bend in your knees. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Hands closer to your heart. Again. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, bow forward, soft bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands closer to your heart. Now from there, moving into Malasana, yogic squat. Such an everyday shape. Drop your hips down. You can even use blocks. If this is too much for you. Feet slightly wider, heel and toes out. Drop your hips down. Spine is effortlessly, elegantly tall. Hands to a prayer. Consciously relaxing the lower back. Few breaths here. And then slowly release, release, release. Now take the block away. Moving into side plank. Now from there, walk, I will uh, give the modified version. If you have full version in your practice, you can go first. Now walk the left hand a few inches forward so that you are not jamming into that left shoulder. And then let me directly underneath that lift, uh, the hip, sorry. And then roll over to the right foot. Right hand reaches up. Modified version. Full version can stack both feet or line up the feet. Plenty of options. Whatever shape you have chosen, don't be too attached to that shape. Just breathe. You can stay there or you can lift that right leg off of the mat. Few breaths there. You can even go for a bind. It may challenge your balance a little more. And then slowly release, 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 release. Back into all fours or even child's pose or down dog, few breaths there before we go to the other side. 
Now from there, come back into all fours, modified version, walk the right hand a few inches forward, right knee, right knee directly underneath the right hip, roll over to the left foot, left hand reaches up. Feel free to stay right there or if you want a little more challenge, you can lift that left leg off of the mat. You can even go for a bind. Hand into your feet, feet into your hand. And then slowly release. And then come back into all fours. Go for a child's pose or down dog. Take a few moments here. And then come into dolphin pose. Now bring your forearms parallel to each other. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up for dolphin. If this is too much for you, you can even interlace your fingers or you can even place a block in between your forearm. These are all great options. Keep pressing into your forearm, head up, chest up. If you feel a little playful this morning, lifting one leg at a time and see how that feels. Or you can even start to walk your feet a little closer. Sitting bones up, thigh bones back. And then drop your knees down, come into child's pose. Child's pose. Taking your hands by your side, that should feel good for your shoulders. Allow the head to rest somewhere. If you want to sway a little side to side, enjoy this child's pose, Yogi. Enjoy. And then slowly rise up. Now come into the seated position. Extending both legs to the front of the mat. Setting up for a seated twist. Now hug the right knee closer to your chest. And then plant the right foot outside to the left thigh. Take your right hand behind you. Then pressing to the back hand and reaching that left hand up, hug the knee to your chest as you turn to your, to your right. Seated twist. Keep pressing into the back hand. Let the spine be effortlessly tall and consciously breathe. And then slowly release, come back to center. Let the twist leave the body. Bring back the symmetry. Now let's go to the other side, hug the left knee closer to your chest. Plant the left foot outside to the right thigh. Take your left hand behind you, pressing to the back hand and let the spine be tall. Now right hand reaches up as you inhale and then hug the knee to your chest as you turn to your left.
Spine is tall and breathe. And then release, release. Let the twist to leave the body. And then from there, lie all the way on your back, setting up for bridge pose. Mm -hmm. Knees bend, feet on the earth. Take your hands over your head. Push down into your feet, lift your hips up. Keep pressing down into your feet, lifting your hips up. Now take your hands by your side, bend your elbows, fingertips pointing up to the ceiling, pressing to the upper arm bones, chest up. Feet down, hips up, upper arm bones down, chest up, back of the head down, chin moves away from the chest. Catch yourself if you have stopped breathing your breathe. Slow and steady, vertebrae by vertebrae, come all the way down to the mat. Slow and steady. Pause, stay still. Now hug your knees closer to your chest. And then lift your forehead to meet your knee. Curl up yourself into a tight ball. Embrace yourself, hug yourself. And then slowly release. Now allow both knees to fall to the right, hands to the teeth, gaze to the left. Now gaze wherever your neck feels easy. Spinal twist. Is bothering your lower back, you can even place a block in between your thighs. Practice to soften your whole body. And especially at this point of your practice, focus on your exhale and allow the inhale to happen naturally. Lengthen your exhale, extend your exhale. And then come back to center. Take a nice inhale here and then exhale to the left. Back to center, moving into happy baby, few breaths there. Hands can stay on your inner thigh or inside of your shin, inside of your feet. Soften your shoulders, leg, head back. Remember, happy babies are never still, so a little bit sway side to side. And then slowly release. Now bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide apart. Bound angle pose. 
Placing your hands wherever your shoulder and neck feels easy. Again, practice to soften the whole body. Few breaths here. Hip points, knees, ankles, shoulders, neck, facial muscles. And then start to straighten your leg, moving into Shavasana. Take up the space, yogis. The space you created with your practice. Open up the legs, open up the arms. Drop down in that space. Spread out in that space. Disappear in that space, Shavasana. Starting to bring awareness to yourself in your own ways. Slightly giving your toes, fingertips, tip of your nose. And hug one knee at a time. Rolling over to your favorite side. Pause there for a few breaths. And then with the support of your hands, come into a seated position. Eyes may fall closed. This is exactly how we started the class, back into a seated position. Spine is effortlessly, elegantly tall, placing your hands wherever your shoulder, neck feels easy. 
just absorb the space the space you created with your practice the space which has blossomed in between you and whatever is happening around you acknowledge that space bringing your palms closer to your heart honoring the space inside you and me in that space we all are one namaste thank you so much yogis thank you